Hey everybody, John here. All right, I've got some special treats in store for everybody tonight. I'm gonna do a auto park and I'm gonna take the car from this gym parking lot. I work out at this small place called Infinite Fitness, the best place ever, by the way. I'm gonna take it from here to the Amazon Fresh store. The last time I tried this, it didn't do so well. So we're gonna see if it maybe has improved a little bit since getting 10.69.3.1. And then we're gonna do a smart summon. So a lot in store, let's see how well it performs. So starting out here, we are in drive and I am in the parking lot. And all I need to do here is move forward. And so I'm already in drive, so I'm gonna move forward and you're gonna see here, there's a spot on the left. I'm gonna swipe over so you can see this very clearly. There's a spot on the left, the cameras are gonna pick up on it. Wait for it. Cameras are gonna see that there was a, a little empty spot there. I may have to go back. So this sometimes happens where you have to go back and forth for it to, te to detect that spot. So if it doesn't find it the first time, go back and then go back forward. Now, usually by the time you do this, it makes sense to just park manually. <laughs> now I am uh, doing a little bit unusual. So the spot is on the left, usually you, are going to back into a spot that is on the right so that could be a part that could be part of the issue although it is strange that it's not picking up on it at all so sometimes the issue is you don't go far enough forward and as you can see here even if i go really far forward it's still not detecting it now we're very lucky because i'm in a quiet parking lot there's not enough there's not too much traffic and there's not a lot of people so i can do this without having to worry about someone getting impatient with me but I'm gonna go back one more time and it really should pick up on this spot. So there is a spot right there on the left that it should see. So here we go again, coming forward. There's that spot right there on the left, waiting for that P to show up. Interesting. So if, if anybody knows in the comments why it's not doing that, let me know. I'm, I'm going to try it one last time. It's really bizarre to me that it's not picking up on that. All right, no need to comment because I did eventually figure it out. There are no lines in this parking lot or they're extremely faded. So normally in a parking lot on the asphalt, there's some lines for the parking spaces. And I found out after a lot of trial and error here that the cameras really do rely on those lines. If they are not there, it simply will not work. So make sure that if you are trying to test the auto park feature, the lines are clearly visible. Lesson learned here in the future, I will now know. All right, we're dialed in and it's going exactly where I want it to go. This is the really, really challenging maneuver. So let's just take a look at what we have ahead of us. And I did a, a previous recording on this. We're gonna come out onto Golf Road so you can see this is all the parking lot here. We're gonna come on out onto Golf Road and right when we turn out onto the main road, it needs to get all the way over to the left because we're gonna be turning left onto Roselle Road. And the last time it, first of all, it's a busy road. Golf Road is a busy road. So it has to get out quickly, it has to time it with depending on the traffic. And then it needs to cut across like three lanes of traffic or actually two lanes of traffic to get into the left turn lane. And then there are two left turn lanes and since it's gonna be turning right immediately after getting onto Roselle Road, the lane selection is extremely important. So it needs to get into the right left turn lane. So let's see if it can pull this off. The last time it was a failure, I had to disengage. Here we go. And actually, I think I had to disengage twice. No, I think once, just once. Okay, here we go, guys. Swipe over, double tap down and the car takes off. So my hand is on the steering wheel, providing a little bit of feedback just to make sure that it knows that I am here. Eyes looking straight forward. So coming from a beta tester that's been using this software for 13 months, I can tell you that the in-cabin camera is sensitive. You do need to be careful. So don't use your phone. It's very good at knowing when you're using a mobile device. The other thing is put torque on the steering wheel. Even if you have that blue flashing bar and you're like, okay, I'll just address it when there's a nag, that adds up over time. 
And I didn't think it did, but I'm pretty sure it does now. And the other thing is treat your first strike like your last strike. Because I'm going to tell you right now that the minute you get on Tesla's shit list, you're stuck there. And what will happen is they won't give you any warnings anymore. And a warning is when it says, please pay, please pay attention to the road. Three warnings and you get a strike. But that warning thing is just completely out the window if you start getting strikes. And I don't know the, the exact formula for that. Okay, so that car in front of us just made the move, obviously manually. Now we have to find a gap here in the traffic. It is a good time if it goes right now. Okay, good. Chose to go out. Okay, it's in the wrong lane. We got to get over one, two. Actually, it's three lanes of traffic. Uh, one, two. Yeah, two. There's moving over once. Come on, you can do it. Go, go, go. What's it doing? No, it's going to fail again. Okay, come on. Ah, so I let it fail. But okay, so I'm not, I'm going to back up. That's horrible. Come on, beta. All right, this is totally not safe. But I'm going to back up here. Thankfully, no cars coming. Ah, oh, pitiful. All right, so someone complained, said I chose the wrong left turn lane last time because I was in the left left turn lane. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt this time, and I'm going to put it in the right left turn lane. Really disappointing, you know. And someone, also, someone else also commented on my previous video, or one of my previous videos, why would it map it out if it can't do it? And that counts for U-turns, that counts for a number of different things. If it maps it out as a path to take, it should be able to take it. Now, if in this case, like, we've seen now twice it can't do it it should map something completely differently it should know that hey this is not enough distance for me to get over two lanes of traffic and then enter the left turn lane that's actually three lanes it has to get over three lanes in a very short period of time or distance the distance is key not the time so much so that distance factor is not added in there and so I disengaged, that feedback's gonna go to Tesla. I don't need to report that. I can still, and I found out I'm one of the very few people that can still report these issues. The camera button is still on my screen. I think that's due to three reasons. And some people were asking me, how come you still have the camera button? The reason why I believe is because one, Elon Musk replies to my tweets. Two, I regularly email the FSD beta team. And three, I have this YouTube channel. And on the YouTube channel, I regularly test downtown Chicago. So when I'm downtown Chicago, it's a very interesting environment. And I think Tesla wants that feedback. That's my best guess. Okay, so here we go through the intersection, no issues. And get o it needs to get over quickly. Okay, good. And then right here, as you can see, we're gonna be turning right into the Amazon Fresh parking lot. Okay, someone else coming up real fast behind me and accelerating through. Ooh, take over immediately. Yikes. Okay, I don't know what happened there, why it said that, but yes, I will take over immediately. Thank you for letting me know. So similar to last time, I'm going to park it in a spot that is ideal for Smart Summon. And again, you do need to plan this out. You can't just park anywhere. First of all, you need to be within 200 feet Second of all, you need to be in a aisle that is going to allow you or allow the car to come to you correctly. So if it's like in this case right here, this if I were to turn right, I'd be going the wrong way down this aisle. But that's technically the aisle I want to park in because uh, I want the car to come down that aisle to come pick me up. So I'm going to go down this one and then... move over to the other spot so we're com we'll come down here and then come across so you guys are in luck because i've got a really nice camera set up this time and i figured out what was wrong with my gopro it's the hyper smooth algorithm that screws up the right algorithm to the or the right procedure to the sd card so i found out that if i turn that off everything works fine so right here this is where i parked last time and it worked out really well. I was a little bit tricky to see my car. I'm gonna back up. And well, not, now look at this. So you see there, there's a lot of lines on the road. This is actually, ooh, this would be really interesting. So this, this parking lot, 
Oh, you know what? This is going to be really interesting. I've never tried this. So these uh, parking spots, as you can see, are kind of slanted. I've never tried the auto park. Now, now see, look, the P is showing up all over the place, left and right. It's showing up all over the place. So definitely needs lines in the road. But I've never tried the auto park feature in a situation like this where the lines are slanted. So let's see at our first opportunity, we're going to find a P. We're going to, when the P shows up, we're going, to, uh, we're going to grab that opportunity and try parking it. So there's no two cars that are next to each other here. So before we do this, let's just, just because I like to experiment and have fun with this. Let's see if, ooh, here we go. All right, yeah, here we go, perfect, on the right side here. Okay, there's two cars right there, as you can see, and there's a gap. I don't know how it's gonna head <laughs> back into this spot, but let's see if it does this. Okay, so there's that car there, and what we're gonna aim for is the spot right in between it. Let's see if it sees it. <laughs> okay, it's it's not showing me that as an option. You know, crazy because on the other side it was showing me the P symbol came up in a lot of a lot of different spots. Let's back up here. Let's try it again. I am such a geek. You know, this is why I named my channel Tech Geek Tesla. Because I am a geek. Sorry guys. Try this one more time. Okay, there's there's that car there. Ooh, there was a P. Shoot, I missed it. Okay, there it is. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. P okay, push it. There we go. Okay, guys. Shift to reverse, and you don't need to step on the brake to do that, and hit start. And see what happens here. <laughs> this is bizarre. So nobody parks like this. Nobody. But how, I'm just curious how it's going to do this. I mean, I think it's going to it's going to find the lines, and eventually straighten itself out. But this is just not what you do in a spot like this. <laughs> so, all right it's coming forward it's gonna do it <laughs> interesting so yeah definitely it needs the lines to be able to do this makes sense i you know that that does make sense at the end of the day all right so <laughs> you know again not the way that you would park here because you know if i were exiting this spot i would you know go out and go to the left but then that's going the wrong way so anyway interesting experiment all right let's get on with smart summon guys here we go let's see how well this thing works all right we'll get, grab a nice spot over here and this will be a lot of fun right about here perfect all right so I'm going to set up my camera and uh, we'll, we'll catch you outside the store. All right, guys, taking off from the Amazon Fresh store and uh, we're going to try this out. So this always makes me nervous. I never know how well it's going to turn out, but let's see today if it pulls it off. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just walk back a little bit. As you can see, this parking lot is busy. So we've got quite a few cars coming this way we just had some people leaving some people coming so it's very similar to the traffic pattern that it was the last time okay give it a second warming up okay there we go it again defaulted to the target mode select the human icon and now i can go ahead and summon so it's waiting here again for me to show up the gps located me now and it's ready to go and the car begins to move i am trying to see my car I don't see it yet but it is moving you can see on the phone the character is moving a little bit okay I still don't see it now I can move to go see it but I don't see any cars in the way so I'm not too concerned right now okay now I do see it coming you can see it just passing by right there there she is <laughs> all right Coming forward, left turn signal goes on. Car is coming out. And all the way over to me, beautiful. I love it when there's no traffic. Okay, so now it should come right here and stop. 
waiting for it. Okay, there it is. So now what it does is it puts, it just puts it in park. And now here is a case the car's coming. So this is where it gets a little bit awkward. And they are turning. Okay, phew. <laughs> Saved. So then what I do from here is I grab out my key fob. Several people have commented that they have had zero issues with the Bluetooth connectivity from their phone to unlock their doors. In my case, I've tried a lot of things taking it out of my pocket and it just is never reliable enough. Even the key fob has Bluetooth and that still presents issues. So double tapping always solves it. And in my opinion, that's extremely important in order to be courteous to other drivers around you while using Smart Summon. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another successful Smart Summon. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. Please hit like, comment, all that good stuff. You know, the YouTube algorithm, it really helps me out. To be honest, I have made like $25 off my YouTube channel. I've been at it for 13 months, trying my best to kind of grow my channel and improve my content. Your feedback is extremely valuable. I, once again, appreciate all of your support. I'm not trying to get rich off of YouTube, but a little bit of payback would be nice. I, I greatly appreciate it. And let me know if you guys have a cool YouTube channel as well. I would love to subscribe. I am open to subscribing. I know some other content providers will not subscribe to others, and that is a little bit annoying to me, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, they, they're in their own little world, I think, sometimes. But uh, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.